Hey guys, how are you? Mike G here from The Wellness Bucket. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another Motivational Monday message. I'm so happy you guys are here and uh, excited for a new week ahead. So let's go ahead and dive into this week's message. And um, it's that time of year uh, again and uh, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, the holidays. And you're right, but I was thinking more so in terms of a new year is upon us. And we're literally, I think it's like 67 days away from a new year, 2016, which I cannot believe. But anyways, it's the time of year to start thinking about, hey, New Year's, right? And New Year's resolutions. And um, I don't even like the word resolutions. I, I like to call them commitments. But anyways, we'll just go with resolutions for right now. But we start thinking about New Year's resolutions. And if we haven't, I'm going to suggest you do. I know I have been thinking about it and perhaps uh, you should as well. So uh, what I wanted to touch upon today is, is as we start thinking about these resolutions, um, four ways to, to start putting some strategies and solutions in place to, to making sure that these resolutions actually happen this coming year in 2016 because um, I don't know about you guys, I've made some resolutions in the past and I necessarily haven't followed through on them and it kind of irks me a little bit and um, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to make sure the resolutions that I set for myself uh, that I do hit them, that I, I do achieve them in the new year. And uh, there's four ways that uh, I've actually been using this year that have helped me to create some of the goals I, I, I have. And I, I'm going to uh, apply that to my new, new Year's resolutions this year. And I'm going to suggest you guys try the same. So start giving some thought to your New, new Year's resolutions. And here's four ways to start, start thinking about these resolutions as far as how to uh, achieve them. Um, Number one is having a, a clear vision of what it is you want. And what I mean by that is just having a clear vision, like, and I, I call it objective goals versus subjective, meaning if you want to lose weight, um, instead of just saying, hey, I want to lose weight, or, you know, if you're trying to decrease debt, instead of just saying, hey, I want to get, get out of debt, uh, I say put a clear, defined, you know, goal behind it. So, hey, I want to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, or I want to fit into a size four versus just saying, hey, I want to lose weight or saying, hey, I want to, you know, uh, get rid of $30,000 or 40000 whatever it may be in debt. Have that clearly defined vision or that goal, that objective goal, uh, instead of just kind of keeping it vague, all right? Because that'll definitely help us. It'll give us that bullseye as far as what we're shooting for. So number one is just have that clear vision of what that goal is. Um, number two is... Um, having the compelling reasons why you want to uh, achieve that goal. You know, I call it the whys, you know, or a compelling reason, call it whatever you will, but have the whys as far as why you want to achieve that goal, you know, and make it more than just that, that. The reason why I call it compelling is it has to be more than just that, oh, well, it'd just be nice to, you know, more so like what's that deep-rooted why that you want to achieve those goals because it's those whys that will keep us going when the going gets tough and anything that's worth going for is go it's going to get tough. We know that and you know, when the going gets tough, it's these deep rooted whys that's going to help us get there. And what I'm going to suggest you do is, you know, like up your standards, raise your standards as far as who you believe yourself to be. You know, if you believe you're someone who like doesn't get it done or always fails or is lazy, whatever, whatever it is, if that's what you believe in, that's what's going to, you're going to follow suit, you know, with that. We're going to, we do our best to stay congruent with who, to who we believe ourselves to be. So if we think that's who we are, that's what we're going to do. But if we raise our standards and say, hey, no, that I'm a person who does what I say I'm going to do. Um, if that's what we stop believing, then yeah, then we're going to follow through on what, you know, what our vision is. And one way I'll just leave, give you guys this piece is, you know, when I was training for my men's physique competition, um, one of the ways that I got through that was just, you know, I raised my standards. Yes, this is what I'm doing. This is who I am because I can do this. But I also backed it up with rituals or habits, call it whatever you will. Um, that got me through it. Um, in, in a, that was getting up in the morning. My rituals were getting up in the morning, having a healthy breakfast, drinking my water, getting enough sleep. You know, so I backed up my standards with those rituals. And because at the end of the day, guys, willpower does not last. Rituals do. If I relied on willpower during that men's physique competition, would not have made it. But the rituals, just, hey, this is what I need to do on a daily basis, it got me through. So that's number two, guys, is, is just have, um, have those compelling reasons why you want to do it, all right? And then back it up with rituals or habits. Number three, simple. Have a plan, right? How do we know... <laughs> How we're going to get to where we want to go. How do we get from plan A to plan B? Uh, we can't get there without a plan. So have a plan in place. And I always say this, it's regardless of the plan you choose, for the most part, they're all going to work. Whether it's a plan you purchase, a plan you get from a friend, uh, a plan you get from me, a plan you get from online, the plan more than likely is going to work. The question is, will you work? Are you willing to do the work? Because at the end of the day, you know, nothing works unless we do. So have that plan. And I, I, I'll leave you with this on number three is, Failing to plan is planning to fail. So let's not let's not fail to plan. Let's 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 definitely plan. All right. Number three is have the plan in place. And number four, 
a simple one, kind of. It's take massive action. And I want to emphasize the word massive. Take massive action and not just take action because what kind of action? Average action gets us average results or mediocre action gets, gets us mediocre results. So take massive action. So whatever it is, it's, if it's like, hey, I want to lose you know, 30 pounds, well, take massive action. Get up in the morning, 6 a.m. when you don't want to get up. You know, have the, you know, eat every couple of hours. You know, go to the gym, work out. Um, take the water, and even though if you don't like water, and you, ugh, I can't do 64 ounces. Take massive action, make it work. Um, because massive action is what's gonna get you massive results. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. By no means is it gonna be easy. I'm just saying it's gonna be worth it. Um, it always is, right? And again, if we didn't want these goals or these, these resolutions we're out to set for ourselves, we wouldn't make them. So clearly, clearly we want them, so let's go for it, guys. So those are the four ways to make this year's, upcoming New Year's resolutions a success. And um, if I can help you in any way, um, with these resolutions or even create any for these that I just mentioned, reach out to me anytime, guys. It's Mike at thewellnessbucket.com. You're awesome. I appreciate being here. And uh, here's to an absolutely successful week ahead. I'll chat with you guys next Monday. Cheers.